This is the previous year gate question. They have given us a cache memory in two different scenarios. In case one, the hit rate for this cache is 0.8, and the access latency is 10 nanoseconds. So we take c equal to 10 nanoseconds. The miss penalty denoted as MP equal to 100 nanoseconds. Now since they have not talked anything about the main memory access time in this case, we take the average access time to be hit rate into cache access time plus miss rate which is 1 minus h that into cache access time plus the miss penalty which becomes 0 0.8 into 10 plus 1 minus h which is the miss rate equal to 0 0.2 into 10 plus 100 which is the cache access time plus miss penalty in case of failure. So this gives us 8 plus 0 0.2 into 110 which is 8 plus 22 equals to 30 nanoseconds. So this is the average memory access time which will be the same time t required in the case 2. Here we have t equal to 30. The hit rate is what we need to calculate. The cache access time has been increased from 10 to 15 nanoseconds and the miss penalty still remains the same which is 100. So in this case, the average access time will be hit rate into cache access time, the same formula which we have used earlier, plus the miss rate into cache access time plus the miss penalty, which becomes h times of 15 nanoseconds plus the miss rate, which is 1 minus h, that into cache access time plus miss penalty, which is 15 plus 100. So we get 15h plus 115 minus 115 h and this should be equal to t which is 30 nanoseconds. Evaluating this we get 15 h minus 115 h equal to 30 minus 115. So from here we get h equal to 85 upon 100 equal to 0 0.85. So if we take the hit ratio in this case as 0.85 or the 85%, then the average access time required for both the scenarios will be the same, which is 30 nanoseconds. And the hit rate we got is 0.85. That's the answer.